Fethullah Gulen is Turkey's most wanted man, at least according to its president, Tayyip Recep Erdogan. Exiled in the United States in 1999, Gulen is a 75-year-old moderate Sunni Islamic cleric with an enormous following in Turkey. To Erdogan, however, he is the powerful businessman behind the coup attempt in July, which killed 272 people, and that makes him a terrorist. This organization has an extension in the business world. Maybe it's what they are most powerful at. We're determined to totally cut off all business links of this organization, which has blood on its hands. Erdogan accuses Gulen of harnessing his network of schools, charities and businesses to infiltrate state institutions and build a so-called parallel structure that aims to take over Turkey. Gulen denies it, saying he's repeatedly condemned the coup attempt and knows nothing about it. Instead, there is a well-documented lack of judicial independence in Turkey, he says, and the warrant for his arrest is evidence that Erdogan is shunning democracy and embracing authoritarianism. It wasn't long ago that Erdogan and Gulen were close allies, but relations deteriorated after a corruption scandal in 2013 involving the president and his ministers. Erdogan accused Gulen of using his supporters in the judiciary to start an investigation into what Erdogan said were trumped-up allegations. Then shortly after, Erdogan moved on Gulen, shutting down the media outlets of his movement. Gulen said that the action was a godsend, as it revealed Erdogan's true undemocratic colours. When these incidents against our friends started, I praised God. Clearly our friends are on the right track, walking along the path of God, seeking his consent, and their aim, their mission, is to encompass people and unite them within international humanitarian values. Bu ortak paydada insanları bir araya getirme cehdi, gayreti, azmi, misyonuymuş. Just a few days ago, Erdogan called Gulen a charlatan and stated that it's time to fight against these people and bring them to account. Vicdanını, her şeyini böyle bir şarlatana ipotek etmiş insandan... Erdogan is trying to do that by putting pressure on the United States to extradite Gulen. But unless he can back up his claims with hard evidence, it's unlikely to happen. In the meantime, 18,000 people, mostly from Turkey's civil service, judiciary, police and military, remain in detention after Erdogan's government launched a massive crackdown on Gulen's movement following the coup attempt. And human rights group Amnesty International said recently that it's gathered credible evidence that some of them are being subjected to beatings and torture, including rape.